we talked about how GoFundMe uh, had not yet succumbed to pressure to cancel what is now over $4 million in crowdfunding. And uh, the last I checked, they had not canceled it, but they're, quote, working with the organizer of the convoy to develop a plan for dispersing the funds. And that's not to say they're going to cancel it, but it is obviously pressure. Then again, when you have you know, millions of dollars raised, you can see there is a bit of fiduciary duty to the donors that the money be spent um, in a manner that was advertised. I have no doubt that will be successfully achieved. Um, what's interesting to me in that all the press coverage demonizing this crowdfunding, they call it a Western separatist link to the Maverick Party. That's a fully registered political party. You wouldn't see that kind of condemnation of the Parti Québécois or the Bloc Québécois. But none of them mention that the organizer, Tamara Litch, is a Métis woman from the West. I mean, if she were leading some pro-vaccine campaign or or some pro-government campaign, you bet she would be treated as a hero of the indigenous community, someone who should receive Woman of the Year award. I mean, you have a young indigenous woman who has created this enormous thing. That's a heck of an entrepreneur and a leader. You never see her identity mentioned because that contradicts the official narrative, doesn't it? Gerald Butts continues to rage, and I see that the hate machine of the, quote, anti-racist establishment, all of whom are paid handsomely by Justin Trudeau, they have now engaged. I see that the National Council of Canadian Muslims, which is the renamed version of Care Can, which, of course, uh, was linked in an indictment to a uh, terrorist group in the United States, their Canadian branch, um, which has renamed itself, is condemning the convoy is racist and Islamophobic and all those things, the usual. And I sort of chuckled because, you know, Mocha is a great guy and I, and I look at him as an individual and as a great videographer, but he happens to be Muslim as well. The, he's the number one booster of this convoy. He's loving it. He's from Turkey himself. He always talks about freedom. And the thought that Mocha, our Muslim videographer, would be participating in an anti-Muslim Islamophobic protest is just so laughable. I guess that's the difference between being an independent journalist, as Mocha is, or being on Trudeau's payroll. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.